The deadly shooting that still has more questions than answers. Tonight, the husband of a Sunday school teacher who was shot to death by a Culpeper police officer is filing a $5 million lawsuit against that officer. Our Peggy Fox first broke the story, and tonight she's got an interview with that woman's husband in a story you will only see on 9. Hey? Well, you remember back on February 9th, Patricia Cook, 54 years old, winds up sitting in a church parking lot in her Jeep Wrangler. A police officer is sent to investigate a suspicious person. She is unarmed. The police officer shoots her some six times. Now, Gary Cook has lost the love of his life. They had no children. She was his family. This lawsuit is not so much about the money, but about justice and making sure it never happens again. I know what I've gone through, and it, you know, the pain, the anger, the frustration, the tears. Um, I don't want somebody else to have to go through. I don't want somebody else to go through what I did. And, and I mean, Gary Cook has a hard time talking about his deceased wife, Patricia Cook, who was shot multiple times by a Culpeper police officer. She was unarmed in her Jeep Wrangler, sitting in this school parking lot annex. In the chest, in the leg. In the arm, twice in the back, and in the head. I've, I've had my tears. I've had my cries. I'm at the point now. I'm angry, and I want justice for my wife. Cook has filed a 5.4 million dollar wrongful death lawsuit against Officer Daniel Harmon Wright, who's also known as Daniel Sullivan. He was sent to investigate a suspicious person in that parking lot the morning of February 9th. Do you believe he had any reason whatsoever to shoot your wife? No reason whatsoever. I mean, the deadliest thing that she had on her and the state police investigators have pointed out was a ballpoint pen. At first, Virginia State Police said that the officer fired at Cook because she had rolled up his arm in the window and was driving away, dragging him. But Cook says that couldn't have happened because the 2007 Jeep Wrangler has crank windows. Eyewitness Chris yeah, Bukel says the officer's window. arm was not That's caught. The window was halfway up. He said, stop or I'll shoot. And uh, I really didn't think he was going to do it. But uh, she got the window all the way up, and that's when he shot. The lawsuit says Harmon Wright attempted to bully and coerce Mrs. Cook into complying with his commands by raising his voice and threatening to shoot her. Why the man should feel to draw a gun on an unarmed, middle-aged woman going shopping uh, is beyond me. Cook questions why Harmon Wright's patrol car allegedly had no working dash cam. He hopes the special grand jury will soon indict Harmon Wright, not only for Patricia's sake, but for others. She wasn't harming her soul. I want to find out what happened. And I want, I want justice. A special prosecutor, Fauquier County Commonwealth Attorney James Fisher, has been appointed in this case. And a special grand jury met about a week and a half ago. We understand uh, that they listened to nine witnesses. Not all of them saw the shooting, but they had information about the shooting and possibly also about Officer Harmon Wright. You know, Mr. Cook questions whether he was just a loose cannon. That's why this happened. Hopefully, we'll get some answers soon. Yeah, we do still have a lot of questions even after Absolutely. all of this. Peggy, thank you.